Hello, trading has closed on the 21st of October, 2022. We always start with our disclaimer, go over our predictions, and then we make some calls. It's my trading plan for Monday, which is October 24th, 2022. Please remember my calls can be completely wrong and any trade you make should be at your own risk. Well, yesterday was a pretty negative day. I said that um, the drop hadn't accomplished enough. My signals were mixed. I looked for a gap and a prompt move outside of the day's range, which is what happened at the open. I said bad as it was, and even though we could drop, I couldn't rule out a strong rally first. And uh, that's what happened. Even though we were down, I had a higher target, 36.82.77, and uh, that printed. This is just to remind, can't move out a sharp move higher. Here's what we said. These are the patterns I'm looking for next week. Look for the pattern with the early high. That's what this is. Monday's pattern should also have the early high. We generated a new, a new target, much lower than where we finished, 37.18.20. There's also an ultimate target with the same price, but usually you go lower than that. Um, unless we gap up smartly, that's my call. During the day, MJT said this drop was false, but we trace it did. In the afternoon, we got an ultimate buy signal, which worked. We also got an ultimate sell signal. Ultimate means it'll happen ultimately. It doesn't mean powerful like an ultimate weapon it means ultimately it's going to be satisfied and ultimately we're going to go under this lower white line we are coming ever closer to the upper bollinger band here a challenge of the band was the target of this move the band starting to move up so there's no reason to think we have to stop here, but none of that means we have to go up on Monday. Well, I'm not happy with any of the counts I have. I'm using this one. I might have to change it. But one thing that won't change is this trend line with multiple hits. We've had a strong rally to it, but not through it. And when that happens, either you gap over the trend line or the trend line wins. By winning, I mean if we go over this line without gapping over it, it shouldn't stick, it should retrace to the line. But a strong rally to the line, but not through it, is a strong rally to resistance. And it really needs another oomph Monday morning to continue. I can't count this whole thing as over. I think we've hit this line so many times we're going to break through it at some point. But let's focus on this current wave and see what the market has working against it in addition to the MJT target, which is lower, and this trend line. Well, I've, had, I've seen a number of other people with totally unrelated methodologies call for, call for a rally up to 38.20, and that certainly works. You have A and C have a FIB relationship at that price, and you have smaller A and smaller C have a FIB relationship. And if we gap up, I think that's a reasonable target, but that's not the only target. If that's A and that's B, we're at 50% right here. And that's not the only pattern that calls for this. Let's focus in on this last wave up today. You 
you have to find some way to count this, and this is not an impulse. Because an impulse is a five-wave structure, and the third wave is not that. That's an overlapping structure. It's not a third wave. So not only is it an ABC, it's an A and a B with a C pretty much equal to A. And if you, that's just in black C. If you look at the larger picture, you have this black C Well, it was actually closer than that. If that's black A, how did I get this? Well, that's not as impressive as I thought it was. It'll have to do. Anyway, you could certainly argue that you got wave balance here, although it's not as convincing as I'd like. That certainly can't be counted as an impulse. Well, Monday's pattern has the early high. We could still gap down. Typically, it's a rally day with a final hour high. Failure is a straight line drop. There is a lower mage AT target. Let's we gap up smartly, the rules call for it to print. Gapping up is not impossible, as Friday rallies tend to follow through on Monday's open. Gapping down smartly instead would be quite bearish for the short term. Straight line rally too, but not through a trend line. Needs to gap over the trend line for the move to continue unabated. If you go through the trend line without gapping over it, the move should retrace. Doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be the same day, but it should be traced. In addition to trend line resistance, we have wave balance at the high of day and a lower MJT target. Would be a sign of great strength were we to gap up, especially since I can't count the current rally as impulsive. I'm not convinced the rally is over, but that doesn't mean we can't go down first. If we don't gap up smartly Monday and look for lower prices regardless of how we close. And if we gap up over this, we have this 3770 target. It has to print at some time. And we have balance of the waves around 3821. But we also have balance of the waves around here. And if we do gap down, uh, it wouldn't shock me if we hit this lower target of 37.18.20. We won't know how we'll open until Monday. And when we know how we'll open, that should tell us if we have a good rally or a good drop. And that's today's call.